What's happening, La Familia? It's your brother, King K.O. Back in this thing with another one, man. And uh, we got a crazy one, man. We headed to BR, man. But we got to do a quick little dabble out to Chicago, man. Because uh, Polo G and Shoebox Baby had some very, very inspirational things to say. You know, Polo G put out a whole message about his journey from, you know, beginning until, you know, where he's at now throughout the music industry how his life changed and stuff like that man so we gotta go check out that one but before we get started man make sure you like comment subscribe ring that bell icon and turn post notifications on to all if you do not turn post notifications on to all you will not be notified every time we drop a video you know i get too many of y'all to hit me on instagram like hey bro when you finna drop a video you know i drop daily it just don't come Unless, you know, you turn post notifications on to all. You know what I'm saying? And for the other ones that do got them on to all, you might need to just come check, tap back in, you know, to the platform because uh, YouTube don't always like to send out notifications. But, you know, it's definitely uh, going to be a video drop between like 6 and 10 o'clock. I try to get them out, you know, within those hours. So tap back in, you know, around that time. But anyways, though, man, we got that man Polo G. As Polo G, man, put out this very, very inspiring message, man, to which he says, four years ago today, I had first signed to at Columbia Records. I was just 19 years old. I went from having $4,000 to my name to one million in one night. Life didn't even feel real. It's crazy how history repeats itself, though, because I ain't ever been back in the building again till recently. I just had a meeting with the label about dropping the most important album of my career. In them four years, I went from up and coming rapper to one of the biggest rappers in the world, chasing a dream ain't nobody else believe in. To all the artists out there, keep grinding. To all my fans impatiently waiting, I'm on the way. I know it been a while, but don't give up on me. You know, with like the little heart hands, swipe to see the progression. I ain't scared to show what I used to be, cause I know I made up for it 1,000 times grinding. So as y'all can see, man, that man signed another very, very lucrative deal. And being one of the biggest artists in the game, that man most definitely got a bag, man. Them zeros behind, hey, I'm telling you, that man life is, hey, will never be broke again, man. But the pics he put up really gave it that much more inspiration, man. It made it truly inspiring. Now, I ain't gonna do too much talking throughout the rest of this video. I'll pop in every now and then. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Anyway, man, big day ahead of me today, man. Don't fall them gray, man. Anyway, man, big day. Hot Boy Dude puts out his new record, man, where, you know, he pretty much took jabs at the opposition and whatnot, to which the opposition responded to it. Now, a few of his partners did share their thoughts on this uh, particular record. Uh, one of them was knocking the record, and I guess, you know, the opposition was DMing him or whatever, and, uh, you know, saying that, you know, they was, you, you know, y'all know, y'all just listen to what he had to say. I'm going to play it all the way through, and then I'll come back at the end. Man, look, check this out. You better go run my little brother. Up, man, one can 17 minutes, man. Stop playing. We ain't playing out y'all. Yeah, we coming for our lack. This is a response to Chopper Boy's new release. The pussy nigga hurt. Ass beater. This pussy nigga hurt. As soon as a fucking feather got put off of his shoulder, now they say they got the fucking city high. Bitch, stop that line. We was going on the run, putting up your pee for you was high. Bitch, I'm feeling like no three. Hey, say look. You to get to be if y'all wanted to. Stop all that sending them, man. Please. I'll get one of them smush, I'm telling you. Behind us with the sweetest pose. How boy, you be talking shit. You got three hours. Speaking of chicken, I'll just eat my dick. He got a cook shot up. It's fucking even. Get a fish, he's got that pussy puff. 
Then the 4K trades respond to the song coming by way of Hot Boy Duke. And uh, they weren't really feeling it, man, as expected. You know what I'm saying? So y'all go ahead and check out these responses. Got that fresh kid cut. Yeah. Ooh, that polo look good with that fresh kid cut. Hmm. Just make it look better. The kid could make all the polo. I hope y'all ain't been fucking with my girl. She think it's a game. This shit is real with us. Purple and gold, baby. To the stadium, baby. To the stadium. It's up. Gotta go to the game. Then Fat Black puts out this uh, new snippet to a new song that he in there right, man, where he was taking jabs at his opposition as well, man. And it could be a response to, you know, the song. Time, it kind of seemed like it matched up, but it definitely was a diss song directed towards his opposition, though. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Yeah. Then no cap pretty much, you know, shoots his shot at uh Rennie Rucci. Or, you know, uh lets it be known they got something going on, I guess, you know. As he says, drop them ones about me. They says don't tell everybody at Rennie Rucci, you know, after she shares his post, uh well one one of his fan page posts. So I guess, you know, it kind of seemed like he let it be known that they got something going on behind the scenes. I mean, I don't really know, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Then Herm, the black sheep, lets it be known that he got his pot and out of jail. Y'all remember that we just talked about this like almost a week ago. He was talking about having the bond money ready for him. Well, uh, yeah, man, he went ahead and went to go get his boy up out of there, man, solidly. Then next up, we got that man Rico Taliban, P. Youngin. We got Key. As you know, uh, Rico Taliban and P. Youngin claim that Key has been, you know, pretty much scamming all of their fans, man, and, uh, you know, beating them for money and whatnot, you know, saying that PY would do cheap features and, uh, you know, I guess keeping the money or whatever. They're claiming that, you know, he's been on some bum stuff, and I can't really tell if they joking or if they speaking the truth. It pretty much seemed like they speaking the truth to me. Y'all go ahead and read this and check this out, and I'll be back at the end.
Now, if y'all was really reading, man, y'all would see that, you know, Rico Taliban said that, you know, he really out here moving like a bum, doing bum stuff. I pointed out to y'all a little while ago, you know, how Rico Taliban was pretty much chastising him. And, you know, kind of like seemed like, you know, dude was kind of scared of him. You know, Rico was really like pressing the issue on him. You know, like dude, treating dude like a punk, pretty much. I didn't want to say it, but I'm 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 just that's just what it is. Let me be a hundred. But on the cool, uh P Youngin then said, dude, keep doing bum stuff. He's stealing, and I don't even F with dude. You know what I'm saying? He said he don't mess with him no more. So as y'all can see, man, uh between the COS movement, man, it seemed like you know they had a snake in their movement. I mean, if they speaking the truth. Now this might be a joke. Like I said, from what they were saying, it don't seem like a joke. It seems like they are, you know, exposing this man and exposing everything that's going on. And if this is what he's doing behind closed doors, this is really foul. You know, and it seems as though Pete Youngin and Rico Taliban been keeping everything in house. But now he's using their likeness to steal money from their fans and potential money that they could have in their pocket while also, you know, making the value of a P. Youngin feature seem as though it has decreased just because that's what he needs, you know what I'm saying? You know, but then, you know, on the other side, yeah, he should have stayed down till he came up. But like, you know, I mean, maybe he's in this position at this point because he didn't hold it down. I don't know the circumstances, but what I do know is, you know, being that close to, you know, that amount of money, you know, your partner shouldn't be having to resort to that, you know what I'm saying? Not putting anything on anybody, I'm just saying, you know, in general. But I will say this, man, even, even still, you supposed to stay down till we get it right. Even if we got to fake it until we make it and make everything seem better than what it is. You know what I'm saying? One thing I know and two for sure is that no matter where you get to in life, there will always be busted snakes and suckers around. And the higher you elevate, the more of those you will meet. Now, Youngin was in a prime position. This Youngin, Key, you know, COS baby Key. He was in a prime position to be, you know, that right hand man and to be successful, you know. When P. Youngin made it, he was going to make it as well. But, you know, you bit the hand that feeds you. And I never understood dudes like this, bro. But it's better for them to be exposed before, it, you know, Youngin really becomes that multi-millionaire. Better for them to be exposed before, you know, dudes start really Johnson riding and, and trying to feed off and leech off of what they can get. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the most high will do, you know. Sometimes it be, you know, the ones that you really love, man. And that's just a crazy situation, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. And with that being said, I'm out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Believe it up.